Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the settings that I used to get very good retargeting for your Unreal Engine to your DAZ character skeleton without having to replace the skeleton, without having to do anything like that. But as you can see, these uh, are actually pretty darn perfect. Now, you may notice a little bit of animation weirdness. That's actually in the animation, so don't pay attention to that. Um, but as you can see, the source model is on the left, and then the DAZ model is, of course, on the right. Um, yeah, pretty good. So here are the exact configuration methods that I used in order to get, like I say, nearly perfect DAZ results. Um, there are a couple of things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make sure that in your project settings, when you scroll to your DAZ project plugins, da -ka -da -ka -da, no, sorry, in your, yeah, no, project settings, under DAZ 3D, there it is, Unreal Engine Studios, you're going to want to make these checked. So FBX import dialog checked, because we're going to do something with that. Very important. This makes all the difference. Uh, and then the defaults are like so, that these two are ticked on. Keep them ticked on. If they're not ticked on, well, make sure they're ticked on. But that is the default, so you should be good to go. Now, let us head over into Daz Studio. Select our character, of course, and we will go to send to Daz to Unreal. And very important, by default, the fixed twist bones is unticked. Tick it on. This is important. Uh, next, what, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, well, we're just going to, we're just going to give our, our, whatever, a name. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call my name and go ahead and click accept. We do through the normal little exporty process here and uh, back into Unreal in John for the rest of the import. Now, we're going to get, since we have this FBX dialog ticked on, we do get this FBX import options box. So what we're going to want to do, and this is very important, scroll down, it's very important, this is, makes all the difference, scroll down and find the import rotation. My, by default, it's going to be zero like that, right? So we're going to change the Z axis to 90. Okay, so go ahead and click import. That's, uh, that's actually all there is to it. Uh, these settings will give you a character which is imported with uh, all of the right various rotations and things so let's see what we, we got our daz character here uh daz to unreal name and as you can see when i drag this character in she actually appears front ways that's because we adjusted the rotation you may have noticed if you've been doing this for a while uh that oftentimes the characters are coming in sideways that makes animation retargeting harder apparently so now if i go in and i find an unreal engine animation with the Unreal Engine skeleton or whatever. Probably probably lots of retargeting is going to work much better with this now. So I'm going to grab this one here and I'll just show you guys retarget animations. Uh, sorry, no, that's the wrong one. I'm going to go from the uh, actual starting source here, which is the UE version retarget animations. And I'm going to find my cleverly named name skeleton here. And when she comes in like that, we're actually going to use the auto generate retargeter. And from here, we get really good results, really good results. Now I've never actually, I didn't actually try the G, uh, G8 that comes with, yeah, no, that's no good. So it looks like auto generate retargeter is gonna be the way to go, but yeah, that's basically spot on. If you look at the legs, you can see that the deformations seem fine, well, except for that little weird twist, but that is actually in the animation, so don't pay attention to that. But you can see that the uh, leg animations and bone deform deformations look really quite solid, quite good. Um, yeah, 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 pretty good, I think. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video.